Hey everybody, this is Gary, and um, I wanted to try and make a quick video uh, that uh, will help you get kind of the lay of the land regarding Photoshop Elements 12. Um, so I'm just going to go over the workspace a little bit. So, when you install and launch uh, Elements 12 for the first time, you're probably going to be confronted with this screen, which is known as a splash screen. So, um, you have two choices, the organizer and the photo editor, and they are two completely separate pieces of software that do completely separate things. The organizer basically organizes your photos, and the editor, you guessed it, edits them. So, I'm going to launch into organizer by clicking on the word organizer up at the top of the splash screen, and it's going to bring me into the organizer. Uh, and I just want to show you very briefly how to get started with it. Uh, f when you launch the Organizer for the first time, you will be most likely confronted with a window that looks exactly like this one. So, in Organizer, you basically collect all your photos into what's known as a catalog. So, if you go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on My Catalog, you will open the Catalog Manager. And... So you could create a new catalog here. So the reason I'm showing you this is if you share your computer with other family members or friends or whatever, uh, you may want to create a new catalog just for you. Or if you want to organize your photos in terms of multiple catalogs, you might want to create a catalog for a certain, like say for all your portraits, those kind of things. I personally don't feel that's necessary. It's a little bit overkill, but whatever. Uh, I just wanted to point out that the Catalog Manager is where you would create a new catalog. Uh, so, I don't want to create a new catalog, so I'm going to cancel out of this. However, I am interested in importing photos into this current catalog, so I'm going to click on the Import button, and I have basically two choices. Well, there are four choices, but the two that you're going to be dealing with most often are from files and folders and from the camera. I want to import images from a folder, I'm just going to go from Files and Folders, and then I'm going to choose, on my desktop I have a folder called PSE Class, I'm going to choose that, click Get Media. It sees that I have a bunch of keywords associated with these images, but I don't want to bring them in, so I'm not going to check any of these keywords, I'm just going to hit OK, and here come the images inside of the uh, organizer. This is all you need to know about the organizer. Import your photos into the catalog, and that's it. I mean, there, yes, there's a lot more to the organizer, but I'm not going to go over all that stuff. I don't want to make this video on the organizer. At this point, you can launch the editor. So I'm going to open an image into the uh, into the Elements Editor. I'm actually going to open two, but first I'm going to open this one. This is a JPEG. So when I click down here at the bottom where it says Editor, it's going to launch the Elements 12 Editor. And here we go. All right, so the editor is divided into three different modes. We have Quick Mode, which gives you access to eight basic tools. And over here, you have some adjustments you can make. Um, you have access to adjustments. You have access to effects. You can run some effects on your image. You can make it, say, uh, sepia tone, or it's calling it deep copper, summer day, uh, what is this one? Probably some kind of high key thing. I don't know. Whatever. So you've got a bunch of effects. Uh, I'm not going to run any effects right now. Uh, you've got textures. You can overlay different textures on your image, like so. I make this one makes it look kind of old timey. Um, but I'm not going to run that either. I'm going to click over here and revert. And then finally, you have frames. You could you could add a frame to your image, and the frames option allows you, allows you to choose these different frames, and all you do is click on them, and Photoshop Elements does the rest. All right, so that's pretty much it for the quick selection. I mean, sorry, the quick mode. All right, so let's go to Guided. Um, uh, here you've got a bunch of different categories, actually three. Uh, I'll go over each one. We have touch-ups. All of these are different ways you can touch up your image. I'm going to choose the simplest one, brightness contrast. So as you can see, you get a brightness slider and you get a contrast slider. Or you can go auto fix and it'll try and guess. But I'm going to revert and um, get out of here. 
So the the cool thing about these uh, these different uh, guided options is that they walk you through the process. I'm going to walk you through one of the coolest things, which borrows from the content aware technology inside of Photoshop, and that's recompose. So in recompose, uh, if I take uh, let's say, notice the width of this pipe and this assembly right here. In Recompose, if I take this and slide it to the right, it tries to maintain the integrity of the two elements, the two front elements, which is kind of cool. Right out of the box without even doing anything, it's smart enough to do that. But I'm going to disable that. So here's a Protect Brush. Let me change the brush size. So I'm going to paint green here and tell elements to protect this when I run this um, recompose tool and the same here so now I'm absolutely guaranteed that when I take this uh, left handle and move it these two areas will be protected look at that that's pretty cool right Okay, I'm going to undo that though, and let's look at remove. Okay, now I'm going to go remove, and I wanted to remove this from the image. So I'm going to paint it, and now when I see what's happening, all right, so it's <laughs> not very good, um, not the best. Uh, rendering, but you know, you can see how that works. So uh, that's recompose. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to cancel out of that. And so now let's go down to photo effects. You've got a bunch of effects you can run on your image. Pretty cool. Uh, the zoom burst effect is new. I'll very quickly go over that. You just, I'm not going to click the crop tool. I'm going to go add zoom burst. And you get the zoomy kind of effect. And if you want to add focus, you can sort of let's focus on this assembly here. Uh, keep going. It kind of uh, removes the zoom from wherever you add the focus tool. Then you can apply a vignette as the final step. And then hit done. And there you go. I'm going to cancel that because uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, and then finally, you've got some photo play uh, guided adjustments. And the point is, when you choose these, um, it'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process, and it would be a good way to learn. All right, but we're going to go over Expert, because I want to, when you first launch Expert, chances are your panel looks like this, okay? So um, Expert gives you access to all of the tools in the Tools panel, and then if I click on Tool Options down at the bottom here, uh, I get the options for whatever tool I happen to have active. Right now, I've got the Content Aware Move tool, which I'm going to show you in a second. But if I were to choose the Lasso tool, I get the options for the Lasso tool, options for the Move tool, options for the Marquee tool, options for the Quick Selection tool, etc. Okay, so um, if you're familiar with elements 10 or below, the options bar used to be on top. Well, they've moved it and made it a panel, and now it's down at the bottom. But the point is, this options panel is dynamic. It changes based on the tool you select over here. So these two work together. Whatever tool I choose, the options panel will give me the options available for that tool. All right. so. If I click on Layers, I get the Layers panel, but I want to basically show you guys the best workspace configuration to use. So I'm going to go to Custom Workspace. Now my Layers is part of a tab set, okay? I'm going to click on this drop-down menu one more time and choose Adjustments. That comes in as it's a floating tab. If I drag it over and see it kind of goes translucent, uh, now there's a blue border around the layers panel. If I keep going up until I see a solid blue line at the top, do you see that solid blue line and let go? Okay, now I've added the adjustments panel on top of the layers panel. We don't need effects. So yeah, I'm going to drag that off and get rid of it. Drag graphics off, get rid of it. Drag favorites off, get rid of it. If I want them back, they are available to me down here at the bottom in this drop-down menu, as you can see, okay? But this is the most efficient workspace configuration. 
because when you start adding adjustment layers, let's say you want to add a levels adjustment, the adjustments are available to you up here in the adjustment panel. So I can increase shadows, I can um, increase highlights a little bit, adjust the gamma slider for midtones, and here's the before and after. The, the levels adjustment comes in on its own layer, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but I'm going to basically get rid of this adjustment panel, this adjustment layer, by throwing it in the trash. All right, so the cool thing about this is when you quit Elements and relaunch it, your workspace will look exactly like it does right now. I recommend you use this workspace. It's the most efficient workspace for working inside of Elements. Okay, um, last thing I want to show you uh, very quickly how you can go from Organizer to F Elements and back. Organizer to editor and back. So I'm going to click on the organizer icon down at the bottom. Brings me back to elements. I'm going to launch this image right here. I'm going to, by selecting it in organizer, and now this is a raw image. Watch what happens when I click on the editor. It's going to open it into the camera raw plugin that comes with elements. So this is actually a third piece of software. You have a lot of adjustments you can make to your image right in the raw editor. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of a stripped down version of the more robust editor that comes with Photoshop, but nonetheless, it is a raw editor. So Photoshop Elements uh, does support raw file format. And when you're done, I'm not going to do anything in the editor here. Uh, I'm not going to go over these. That will be for a later video. But for now, I just want to point out that when I'm done editing, I will click on Open Images, and it will open it into the Elements Editor. All right, so now we have two images. If I go and click on the Photo Bin, you can see that I've got two images open inside of Elements, and they're tabbed. Here's the first one. Here's the new one. Last thing I want to show you is a new tool, Content Aware Move tool. This is new to um, Elements 12. So I'm going to zoom in on this goose here, and I'm going to take my Content Aware Move tool, and I'm going to draw around this goose like so, and I'm going to try and grab the shadow as well. Come up over here, and then, all right, I wasn't very... Um, you know, efficient with that. So I'm going to come, I'm going to hold down my Option key and draw inside here to subtract. So I would hold down the Shift key, and now I can add. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit here, holding down the Shift key. All right, so now I'm going to move with the Content Aware Move tool. I'm going to move the goose up here, and let's see what the content aware. Okay, so as you can see, um, content aware basically tried to fill in. It didn't do a very good job. We have this thing here, but not bad. You know, not bad. Let me let me zoom out so y'all can see um, what I did or what content aware did. Okay, um, that's content aware move. It's not perfect, but it's pretty cool. So that's Content Aware Move. Pretty cool. All right, guys. I think that's it for now. I will see you later.